All right, hey guys, we're back over at my youngest boy's place, and you guys remember videos in the past to where we built the double-decker fort. This used to all be thick trees, and you see that big pile in the back? That's what we're getting ready to hit. Haven't been here in a while to show y'all. This has been added uh, with his uh, parking for his camper area, but the big focus for today is we're going to be working on the wood pile in the back. So the game plan is take the excavator, and we're gonna pull these out one at a time, cut these down to workable lengths, and put them over in the trailer. We're carrying them off. There's, uh, actually it's Dylan's father-in-law. Uh, we're gonna take it to his house, he'll cut it down, split it, and he burns in the winter. So, you know me guys, let's get busy. Grab an excavator, uh, just finished uh, fueling, just finished fueling and greasing, doing all the regular maintenance on it. And so now we're gonna use the thumb, reach in, grab each piece, pull it out, and then while I'm holding it, we're gonna let them cut it. At least that's the game plan. So, you know me guys, let's get busy. Right now, the guys have both left. Dylan is making a run to one of the guys' houses, and Craig and them just left, and they're making a run. And so kind of what we're doing is two of the guys, they have two different kind of burning that they do. One, it's no big deal to burn the soft wood. So we're separating the pines from the hardwoods. So if you can see, Right now, I'm just getting up this scrud, throwing it on over. We're also creating a burn pile. So all of this pile right here is pine. And then we're gonna create, this is just a scud that's left over that, you know, it's totally not useful. We're gonna make a big burn pile here. And then all the wood that I'm putting up here is the hard ones. So we're just kind of separating and taking them two different places. And what's making this so difficult, or not really difficult, just, different plan of attack than what I originally thought 
is I was thinking I'd be able to pick up one tree at a time and pull it out of here, but they're so intermingled that that plan, move point, one won't happen. So what you're seeing the guys do now is they're just going in and carving out a bunch of cuts and then I'm going in behind them and cleaning it up. Well guys, we got a bunch done today. Uh, we uh, kind of only able to work a half a day because uh, plans for everybody else uh, for the afternoon and so we're gonna call it a day for now uh, but anyway the excavator did a fantastic job and uh, the one thing that I had no idea is I did not remember or realize this pile was this thick this deep and had so much of the clutter stuff in it I, I thought it was just stacks of trees that were down but anyway uh, what we're gonna do is come back and I'm gonna bring my tractor over with the grapple and we're just gonna get all these logs picked up. You won't believe how fast this will go with that. And we're gonna do a stack because these are gonna be cut up uh, and split for firewood later. And then I'm gonna take the grapple and just start picking up all the mess. And we're gonna put it over on this pile and we're gonna start burning. So uh, anyway, for now, uh, take a break. We'll come back, continue the job down the road uh, here either this afternoon or tomorrow. So anyway, guys, Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it so much. Remember, hit Project Next One. There's always one more. So, guys, we'll be back here soon. I'll catch you on the next one.